Henrietta Brusgård, a familiar face on Norwegian television, shared her breast cancer diagnosis with the world. Her announcement was met with an outpouring of support. People connected with her honesty and vulnerability. Here was a woman in the public eye, bravely sharing her personal struggle. Bruce Gard's journey began like so many others. She discovered a lump during a self-examination. It was a moment etched in her memory. Fear and uncertainty crept in. She immediately sought medical advice. The diagnosis came. It was breast cancer. The news hit Bruce Gard hard. She was shocked. There was no history of breast cancer in her family. The diagnosis felt surreal like a cruel twist of fate. Despite the initial shock, Bruce Gard knew she had to face this challenge head on. She was determined to fight. This was the beginning of her journey. The world as Bruce Gard knew it shifted. Doctors' appointments filled her calendar. Tests and scans became routine. She learned the language of cancer, a language she never expected to speak. Chemotherapy was recommended. It was a daunting prospect. Bruce Gard knew the potential side effects. Nausea, fatigue and hair loss were all possibilities. The thought of losing her hair filled her with dread. It was a tangible reminder of the battle she was facing. Despite her fears, Bruce Gard found strength in her loved ones. Her family and friends rallied around her. They offered unwavering support, a constant source of love and encouragement. With their support, Bruce Gard faced each day with a mix of courage and apprehension. The unknown stretched before her, but she was determined to navigate it with grace and resilience. Chemotherapy began. Bruce Gard's body was flooded with powerful drugs, fighting the cancer within. The side effects were immediate and relentless. Nausea and fatigue became constant companions. Her energy plummeted. Then, her hair began to fall out. It started slowly, a few strands on her pillow. Soon, it came out in clumps. Brushing her hair became an exercise in heartbreak. Each strand felt precious, a reminder of what she was losing. The loss of her hair was a visible manifestation of the invisible battle raging within. It was a constant reminder of her illness, a public declaration of her fight. Bruce Gard felt a sense of vulnerability she had never experienced before. Bruce Gard refused to let the side effects define her. She shaved her head, taking control of her changing appearance. It was a powerful moment, a reclaiming of her body and her identity. She shared her experience with honesty and vulnerability. She posted pictures of herself bald, her smile radiant despite the challenges she faced. Her openness resonated with people around the world. Bruce Gard's vulnerability became her strength. She showed others that it was okay to be vulnerable to share their fears and struggles. She created a space for open and honest conversations about cancer. Through her vulnerability, Bruce Gard became a beacon of hope and inspiration for others battling cancer. She reminded them that they were not alone. Section five, the power of connection. Throughout her journey, Bruce Gard found solace in connection. She connected with her loved ones on a deeper level. Their love and support gave her the strength to keep going. She also connected with other cancer patients. She listened to their stories, shared their fears, and celebrated their triumphs. In their shared experiences, she found a sense of community and understanding. Bruce God discovered the power of human connection she learned that even in the darkest of times, love and support can provide a glimmer of hope. She realized that no one should face cancer alone. Section six, 
embracing the new normal. Chemotherapy took its toll on Bruce Gard's body. There were days when she could barely get out of bed, but even on her weakest days, she found reasons to smile. She refused to let cancer steal her joy. Gradually, her body began to heal. Her energy returned. Her hair started to grow back, a soft fuzz covering her scalp. It was a sign of renewal, a symbol of her resilience. Bruce Guard embraced her new normal. She learned to listen to her body, to rest when she needed to, and to celebrate each milestone. She found a newfound appreciation for life and all its precious moments. Section 7. A Celebration of Life The day arrived. Bruce Guard's last chemotherapy session. It was a day filled with mixed emotions, relief, gratitude, and a touch of sadness. The treatment that had saved her life was over, but the journey was far from finished. Bruce Guard celebrated this milestone with her loved ones. There were tears and laughter, hugs and expressions of love. It was a celebration of life a testament to her strength and resilience. She knew that the road ahead might hold new challenges. There would be follow-up appointments, scans, and the constant fear of recurrence. But she was ready. She had faced her fears, embraced her vulnerability, and emerged stronger on the other side. Section 8. Advocating for early detection. Bruce Gard's experience ignited a passion within her. She became a vocal advocate for early detection. She shared her story, urging women to be vigilant about their breast health. She stressed the importance of self-examinations. She stressed the importance of regular mammograms. She knew that early detection could be life-saving. She wanted to spare others the fear and uncertainty she had experienced. She used her platform to educate and empower women to take control of their health. Bruce Gard's advocacy work became an integral part of her healing journey. By helping others, she honored her own experience and found a sense of purpose. Section nine, the importance of emotional support. Bruce Gard understood that cancer treatment went beyond the physical. It took an emotional and mental toll as well. She emphasized the importance of emotional support for cancer patients and their families. She encouraged people to reach out to their loved ones, to offer a listening ear, a shoulder to cry on, or a helping hand. She knew that even small gestures of kindness could make a world of difference. Bruce Gard also highlighted the importance of professional support. She encouraged people to seek counselling or therapy if they needed it. She believed that mental health was just as important as physical health, especially during challenging times. Section 10. A Beacon of Hope Henriette Brusgaard's journey with breast cancer is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. She faced her fears with courage embraced her vulnerability with grace and emerged from the experience stronger than ever before. Her story is a beacon of hope for others battling cancer. She reminds us that even in the darkest of times, there is always hope. She inspires us to live our lives to the fullest, to cherish our loved ones and to never give up on the fight. Bruce Guard's legacy extends far beyond her battle with cancer. She has become a symbol of strength, resilience, and the power of human connection. Her story will continue to inspire and empower people for generations to come.